Good afternoon, all you Facebook and YouTube users. We are back from COVID. Thank goodness. What a run of luck I've had, you know. The disability was coming to an end. I was ready to go back to work. Got hit with COVID-19. Uh, knocked me out. I had to quarantine for 10 days. Today's the first day out of quarantine. So I ran to the store. Um, during that time also, I developed two flat tires on my car. So I had to go and get that fixed this morning. And that was about a two and a half hour wait for them to get the flat tires fixed and put back on the car. So, just my luck, huh? So today, I've been making some soups lately. I made a potato soup the other night, uh, which I love potato soup. And uh, tonight we're going to make, uh, and we're going to use our instant pot or our, our power quick pot. And we're going to make a mushroom wild rice soup. So our weather here in Tucson, Arizona has turned, uh, most of you will laugh, uh, back east and up north, but to us it's a, it's a little cool here. So I've got my eight quart pot here and in here I've got, uh, I've got my mushrooms, I have uh, uh, some wild rice, let's see I used a uh, an eight ounce bag of wild rice uh, that's uncooked. I've uh, got carrots and celery and onion and uh, I'm just getting ready to uh, we're going to add some garlic and some broth. We'll probably do a vegetable broth and some spices so I'll include the recipe down below and we'll get busy on this. Give me just a moment. Alrighty, so I went and added, uh, I've got my uh, vegetable broth ready to go. And in the spices that I used was some thyme, uh, bay leaf, uh, rosemary, uh, salt, and black pepper. And I put that in the, in the pot here. So we're just going to add the vegetable broth. <clears throat> And that's going to go over everything in here. Now the recipe called for cremini mushrooms. I could find cremini mushrooms. So I just bought Baby Bella and I sliced them up. And uh, you use what you can find, right? So. Alrighty, so we're going to put this in the pot. Oh, here we go. Going to put the lid on it, lock it in place, going to plug it in. Oh, come on. There we go. And let's see what it says here. Cook for 30 minutes in high mode soup. So I'm going to go pressure. Oh, let's see, do I have a soup mode? Well, I don't have specifically a soup mode. So I'm going to go vegetables. And we're going to go medium, or should we go high? Uh, let's, let's go high. And we're going to set it for 30 minutes. There we go. And uh, we're going to wait for that to come up to temp and uh, cook for 30 minutes. And then we're going to uh, we're going to let it naturally release, which means release on its own. We're not going to do a quick release on this. And, uh, and when, once the cooking is done, we'll get started on the stove top. We have to make the roux, which is uh, some butter, some flour, and some milk slash whipping cream. And we'll make that to add into the soup when it's done. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. 
All right, y'all, so the soup is done, um, pressure cooking. So we're gonna get started on the, uh, on the roux. We're gonna let the soup naturally release the pressure. Uh, probably take it 15 minutes or so. So I've got a stick of butter that I'm going to melt. know about y'all but uh, here in the southwest in Tucson we don't have much of a uh, we don't have much of a season where it's cold enough um, to make soups and things like that so whenever it does turn a little cooler here I like to cook up soups and I like to can them or freeze them for uh, for later. So while that's starting to melt, let me get a half a cup of flour. But when it is this time of year, I really enjoy the soups. Being able to make the soup and have it fresh. So we're going to melt this butter. Then we're going to add the flour and saute it for about one or two minutes. And then we'll whisk in some milk. And we're going to need about three cups of milk. And I'm going to do a little cream as well. what we've got here that's one cup I'm gonna do one and a half cups of cream and one and a half cups of milk I keep my milk in glass jars I don't know, it just, I think it tends to taste better that way. At least it gets colder. So there's about three cups of milk. John C. wanted to go outside. All right, we've almost got this butter melted. It's taking a bit. It was frozen. I had to get the butter out of the freezer. So, yeah, we uh, got a lot done today. Got those tires fixed. I also stopped by an auto parts store. My car, I, I replaced the alternator a while back ago. And uh, ever, since, ever since we did that, 
I don't have any fans in the vehicle. I don't have the fan for the heater or the air conditioner doesn't work, even with the with the AC compressor turned on. And I don't think the uh, I don't think the uh, radiator cooling fan is working either. So I can drive the car as long as I'm moving, it's fine. But if I'm uh, if I have to sit and idle for a while, it'll overheat. So I stopped by an auto parts store today, O'Reilly Auto Parts. I explained the situation to them, and they suggested that I replace uh, the cooling system relay. So it's not an expensive part. So um, I'm going to get that replaced as soon as possible, and. Uh, Hopefully that'll fix the problem. If any out, if any of you out there happen to know anything about vehicles or mechanics of a car or know someone who does, uh, perhaps you could run it by them that the car, the car is fine while I'm driving, but when I'm just sitting and idling, it, it'll overheat and there's no fans. So if you could share that, maybe post a comment down below. Uh, and let's see if we can get that fixed. All right, this butter is melted, so I'm going to go ahead and add the flour. Uh, and give that a stir. And we're just going to saute it until the raw smell goes out of the flour. Let me go ahead and get a, uh, a whisk because I'm going to want to whisk in the milk. This will also help the flour in here will help the uh, will help as a thickener in the soup help thicken up the base a little bit all that vegetable stock all right that smells good so we're gonna go ahead and add the milk and the cream just a little bit at a time while we're whisking it in so that we get a nice smooth sauce roux. Uh, there we go. That way it'll stay smooth and not lump. Let me show you this. See that? It's a nice white cream sauce. And we're just going to let it continue to heat up a bit. And then when it's ready, we'll pour it into the soup. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let this vent a little bit. That's part of this is you get the aroma of all of those flavors in there that have been uh, cooking under pressure.
Alexa, stop. Takes a while, there was a lot of pressure in there. All right, all the pressure is gone. Gonna open that up, and now I'm going to try to find those bay leaves to get those out of here. Uh, There's one. Two. We'll go ahead and remove the rosemary as well. There's another bay leaf. Another one. Oh, there's another one. Ouch. I think that should about do it. Alrighty, let me show you what we got here. <clears throat> Look at this wonderful soup base with all the veggies in it and the wild rice and uh, the mushrooms. It's going to be good, y'all. So now we're going to add the, uh, we're going to go ahead and add the, uh, the roux. Give me a moment. All right, so we added the roux there. So now we've got this creamy looking soup. And I'm just going to continue to heat it until it reaches the thickness that I want it to be at. And then we'll dish it up and, uh, and have a nice bowl of cream of mushroom soup. <clears throat> so that's it, y'all. Uh, going to go and we're going to have a wonderful dinner and uh, enjoy this soup and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Remember, bon appetit and that life is beautiful and uh, that's it. We'll see you in the next video. Holidays are coming up. Uh, if I get the time and uh, can get up to feeling like it, we're going to make a uh, we're going to make some uh, fruit cakes for the holidays and uh, so we have those to uh, snack on and share with those who like fruit cake and uh, I'll be sure to video that for you. Alrighty, you all have a good evening. Bye bye.